And they are expecting a lovely run from number one, Spirit Princess. You can't fault the way that she's come to the races today, Lau. So I'm going to go in a big way with Platina Princess. And if there's just one more I'd like to include for trifectas and quartets, only because you can put a big line through that last run is Efficient Trader. Everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong on that occasion. Um, unfortunately, the work rider lost his irons and uh, then was disqualified. Obviously lost quite a bit of weight around the turn. A few lead bags, I think came out on that occasion with number four efficient trader but yeah this horse at about 28 to 1 now 35 to 1 i see you're getting about three or four in the place big place bet for me number four efficient trader and i think the two-year-old is the horse that they all need to beat lau thank you brandon yeah some nice uh, value you have there uh, sean terry did say enjoys the course and a money chance for efficient trader i thought the one spirit princess did a holder quite comfortably on the b in my bonnet form line and uh, you know, see how they go here this afternoon. But, uh, yeah, so a bit of value there. Efficient trader for Brandon as a place. And mine's a nine at a huge price value for a place, possibly. We both agreeing, though, even though it's a two-year-old, that first run was strong and it was good. So we'll see if she can just receive those four kilograms from most of them and, and win. And you'd expect she should if she's going anywhere. Uh, Spirit Princess does, as I say, have good form. Ignore the run of Efficient Trader last time. And Southern Style, I didn't think I had zero chance, as is the case with number two, Power That Be. So you either want to take a chance and bank of the 10 or you want to go quite wide here yeah, because one, two, um, I wouldn't leave out the wire marking stable. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then over the page, uh, obviously number 10. I think uh, we need uh, to have a little whisper in United Ransom's ear. When I see her, I'll just say, hello, do you know who your sister is? It's time to start running. She uh, obviously the half a sister of Captain's Ransom. And if she was half as good as her sister, she'd win this by eight. All right, horses are loading. It's jackpot time. Here is Nico Critiotis. Thanks so much, Lyle. Thanks, Brandon. They are starting to load up now for the opening leg of the first jackpot. 1,450 metres, the trip. Sitsi Karma Pearl has gone in. The rider will join up with her in the stalls. Gavin Lorena, elusive fire is about to join them. Efficient trader. Latina Princess, first two-year-old in open company for the season here in South Africa. Asuka moved up. Powers that be to go forward next. Spirit Princess, United's Ransom, Southern Style, and Dame Colleen will be the last ones. Spirit Princess turns away. Chance for Spirit Princess to go forward, goes in. Southern Style. United's Ransom, the white cap to come in, and Dame Colleen. Three runners left to load. Southern Style moving in. United's Ransom. And Dame Colleen, 1,450 metres, we're all set to race. Jackpot time, and they dispatch with Southern Style. Slow to begin, efficient trader also wasn't well away. United Ransom, the uh, white cap, goes off to show the way here from Platina Princess, who's racing back in second. Tsitsi Karma Pearl is up on that one's outside. Powers that be races further back. And then elusive fire, Dame Colleen. Spirit Princess gives the leader about seven lengths start. Asuka is racing behind that one. Efficient Trader is racing second to last. And Southern Style, that's the back marker. And racing about nine, ten lengths off the leader. And United's Ransom, led it by three lengths now. Coming down to the last 800. United's Ransom clear of Tsitsi Karma Pearl in second. Platina Princess third. Then powers that be elusive fire and dame colleen spirit princess has got eight lengths to find on the leader behind that one racing behind that is azuka and then came uh, efficient trader towards the back end with southern style homeward bound 500 meters to go united's ransoms clear by two lengths
Prince from Tsitsikama Pearl. Platina Princess is making inroads down the inside. Then Powers That Be and Elusive Fire was racing further back. 300 metres left to go. United's Ransom, the leader. Platina Princess moves up strongly down the inside to hit the front. Tsitsikama Pearl is back in third. Then Powers That Be, but it's Platina Princess who goes well clear with 150 to go. And it's race over. And it's going to be an easy win for Platina Princess by five. The colours of Mike Day Tomb. Spirit Princess was second. Third, Titsi Karma Pearl. It is a fire and fourth. Behind that was Southern Style Asuka. Then came Powers That Be. Further back was United's Ransom. Efficient Trader ran behind that with Dame Colleen. Very, very comfortable winner, number 10, Platina Princess. A second winner today for the Mike DeCock outfit. Craig Zaki boots this one home, the daughter of Danon Platina. The Japanese uh, bloodstock have had uh, big headlines in the past couple of years, and it's great to have Danon Platina standing here in South Africa. And well done to Mike Day Tombs, who also bred it out of his mare, Blonde Princess. Six lens clear, good six lens clear of Spirit Princess in second. Third placing to Tutsi Karma Pearl. And fourth was Elusive Fire ahead of Southern Style. Very easy winner. Number 10, Platina Princess. Let's take another look at it on the left hand side. The daughter of Duran Platina strikes the front from United's Ransom. Tutsi Karma Pearl stays on, if anything else. And behind that was Powers That Be at this stage, Spirit Princess emerged out the pack and runs on best of the others. But a good victory here for number 10, Platina Princess, was bred by Mr. Henning Pretorius' Summerhill Equestrian stud down in Moy River. Well done to Henning and a big well done to Mike Daytunes. So that is a really nice win by the two-year-old. That shows you where the two-year-olds are standing. They're looking strong, Platina Princess. I know it might not be the strongest field here, but well done to uh, Mike DeCock and Mr. DeStomes. Of course, summer equestrian, Mr. Pretoria's bred, Craig Zaki ridden. And that really was impressive for this two-year-old. I think she might just be going places. We'll keep an eye on her. Good run in second by number one, Spirit Princess. Third to the six, Titi Karma Pearl. Much better effort there. And back and forth was number nine, Lucifer Our Value. Just missing out in the top three there but it's 10 1 6 and 9 that's how they run here race number four Returning to the winner's enclosure for race four is number 10, Platina Princess. Well done to winning owner Mike Day Tombs. Winning trainer is Mike DeCock. Winning rider, Craig Zaki. Number 10, Platina Princess, a two-year-old bay filly by Danon Platina. Out of the Cajal Mare Blonde Princess was bred by Mr. Henning Pretorius's Summerhill Equestrian Stud. Based it down in Moy River, number 10, Platina Princess, wins by six and a quarter lengths. The official winning margin, six and a quarter lengths. First two-year-old to race in older company in the season. And first two-year-old to win in open company in the current season too. Second will go to number one, Spirit Princess. And third was number six, Tsitsi Karma Pearl. Then 
wins from Titsy Karma Pearl. Platina Princess is making inroads down the inside. Then powers that be an elusive fire is racing further back. 300 meters left to go. United's ransom the leader. Platina Princess moves up strongly down the inside to hit the front. Titsy Karma Pearl is back in third. Then powers that be, but it's Platina Princess who goes well clear with 150 to go. And it's race over. And it's going to be an easy win for Platina Princess by five. The colors of Mike Day Tomb. Spirit Princess was second. Third, Titsy Karma Pearl. It is a fire and fourth behind it. that first two old no open company and goodbye six and a quarter lengths the platina princess has done the job for the cox stable lovely to have mr Stooms on course here and uh, bred by summer hill mr pretorius well done to you craig zaki aboard this afternoon you jumped aboard uh, for the first time today i'm sure you've done some work but uh, wow how was that oh, really impressive la. um i was fortunate enough to go early on sunday morning and catch a good feel of her and um <laughs> she actually doesn't give off much at home she obviously knows where the battlefield is and brings her best to the track. But, I mean, that second was a really good run. I went on Egyptian more, and I think everyone knows how high we rate her. So, um, with any bit of improvement, not being the strongest field out there, um, she was always going to be the horse to beat. Now, of course, you've ridden both of them. I mean, uh, this, this could have a nice uh, career ahead of her. She definitely does. Um, at the moment, she's still very immature, uh, quite soft still, and... I think she's going to progress into a really nice field. Um, I think once she the penny drops and she just gets stronger and uh, grows a bit more, she's definitely one to keep an eye on and follow. Well done, sir. Well done. Thank you to Mr. Day Toombs, to Mrs. Decock, Alson, and the team all on course today. Big thanks to Mr. Decock and Oz, um, getting some good support and opportunities. So really appreciate it. And to my sponsors, Maritz Fintin and Volker Boschev. Thank you. Thanks, Craig. There we go, Craig Zaki. Olsen will come in next and represent the Cox Stable. Nice to have Dyer on course as well. Olsen, uh, you must be very pleased with uh, how she's progressing. Yes, I'm um, very happy the way she's progressing. Um, I also just want to say well done to Craig. He had a very good race. Um, well done to the owner also, yeah. Mrs. Diane also, yeah, I'm very happy. They want to say well done to Chamu Mobile as well. You see, being riding at those Philly, it was not an easy Philly, but he's been riding all the time at the track. And I just want to say well done to V. When he come, they come to him first and they met him. And there's training with us. And then they come they come up to us. And then they do all a good job. Well done to him. Well done to our sponsor, Petway. Well done to uh, Modest Fontana for the Tono Platina. It was a nice, a nice uh, call to Well done, sir. Good day at the office. And I don't think you need to take the groom because I think he's here, isn't he? Yes, the okay. groom is here today. Thank you, Olsen. Well done. Here's Mr. Toombs. What a pleasure chatting to this man. I don't often get to chat to him. I see your colours all over. I don't have too many winners. That's oh, well, but you know what? Here we go, and she looks special. They're very nice winner. Very nice. We were very happy with her. Um, she's, she'll, she'll definitely go on a bit further. A bit worried about the distance because the mare is a shorter distance sprinter mare, but uh, that's what it is. But at least we've got something to work with and a good team to work with. And I'll race with a good bunch of guys that normally have the winners. <laughs> yeah, not today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Today it's your turn. Well done, sir. Definitely. Thanks very much. Absolute uh, pleasure having you on course. And will you please